Hi guys, welcome to my 2014 wallet collection video. I pretty much already know I'm not going to accumulate any more, any more wallets before the end of the year, so I thought I'd just give this video a go right now. And if there are any wallets you saw, you saw in my last video that you don't see in this video, it's because I no longer have them. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first wallet I have to show is the current wallet, and that's the Sarah wallet, and this is the Dentel Limited Edition Gold. So this is a basic Sarah wallet. There are four card slots right here. There are two large holes on either side, a zip compartment to put coins or whatnot there, and there are six card slots in the back and a little jumper area to put items uh, that I consider for long-term storage. So this is a very functional, easy, basic wallet, but it's just a little bit, a bit more prettier with the Dentel embroidery that I just think is so uniquely beautiful. So yes, Sarah Wallet, Monogram, Dentel, love it. The next wallet is probably going to be an addicting one. It's the Zippy Coin Purse in Monogram. And this wallet has four card slots, two on either side, and there are two jumper areas on either side to put items in, like long-term storage, two gaping holes, and a little area right here perhaps to put coins in. Now the only drawback to this wallet is once these card slots are full because the wallet is so tight, it's an accordion style wallet, you probably won't be able to access these items in these areas right here. So please be mindful of that. Perhaps I should do a review on that. <laughs> so yes, this is the Zippy Coin Purse Monogram. Love it. And it's so cute. They fit in the Mila clutch, the mini pochette, and the regular pochette, of course. So this little thing can really get into little small places. Now the next wallet I have really may not be considered a wallet, but I consider it a wallet because it has card slots. This is the Agenda PM in Damia Ibin. And as you can see, I made it mine with my heat stamp. And there are three card slots here. And there are two jumper areas, one on either side. And I normally have a zipper, like little Ziploc thing I got from File Effects that I keep in here. I don't know where it is, but that's where I put my coins or anything that's loose. But this wallet, our agenda, gives me the ability to write things down and uh, be very simple. And there is a little pen that goes in here that I have that fits. So don't worry about if you can find a pen or not because there's a will, there's a way. So this is Agenda PM and Damia E. Bean. Now the next wallet I want to show you is a classic of mine. I have a review on this, the Insulate Wallet. It's just in the monogram stash of you seeing my video. So this is very basic. There are 12 card slots, a little jumper right here. I made it mine with my heat stamp. There is a little jumper here an area here, and a zipped area that I put my coins here and set up up here, which I've learned along the way. And I normally keep my cell phone here because I do make it into a clutch by adding this optional chain that you can purchase separately. But I don't really use this wallet as much as I used to because it's a large wallet and I'm really trying to be a little bit more compact these days. And so when I do use it, it's probably for like a week and just to give it a give it a go. So this is the Insulate Wallet in Damia E. Bean, and it is a classic of mine's. Now the next wallet I have to show is my most cutest, most cushiness, cushiness wallet. It's the Etoll Wallet in Monogram, and as you can see there are it's an accordion style wallet and there's a jumper area here, a jump area here, two large holes. It holds a total of six cards, three on either side, a coin area here. That's, love this zipper right here. And there's an area right here to put long-term storage. And unlike the Zippy, Com, the Zippy coin purse, you can actually put things here with these card slots being all full. It's just a little bit tighter, but you can access this a little bit better. Now with this wallet, you have to fold the items up. So I usually fold my bills up here and receipts up here. And in comparison to the 
zippy coin purse. It's compact, but it's just, I just love the cushiness of this wallet. It's so cute. And the quality of this wallet is probably the best out of all my wallets. I wish they would make all Louis Vuitton items to this quality. Love this wallet. And they also make it in the Sarah version. So there's a longer version of this. The next wallet I have to show is one of my favorites. It's just probably because of the name, but it's the Alexandria wallet. And this wallet is a kind of fold out. There is a large area here to keep your bills and your money and receipts. There are a total of not 12, but 13 card slots. There are four here, four here, and five right here. And there is a little jumper area right here for long-term storage. And what attracted me to this wallet besides the name also was the fact that it has an old school kind of picture area or someplace you wanna showcase something you wanna look at when you open your wallet, like the old times. So it is frosted, so you're gonna get a matte finish, whatever you put in there, but hey, it beats not having one because this kind of style is kind of out, but I really like it. And up front, there is an area to put items in here. And then there's this large kind of already accordion style area that I normally put coins, dollars, coupons here. And uh, I put coins here. But the only bad thing, the only, only drawback to this wallet is once items are in here and you accidentally open your wallet and yeah. So you gotta always remember to hold the wallet like this when you open it because otherwise it'll be on the floor. So this is the Alexandria wallet and Damier E-Beam. And last but not least, the grand finale is gonna be a repeat of one of the other wallets. And that would be the ZCP, Zippy Coin Purse. And this is in Bernie, Palm de Amour. I absolutely think this wallet is beautiful, gorgeous. And it's the same, it has four card slots, two on either side, two jumper areas, one on either side, two gaping holes, and a little area just to put whatnots, coins, but since it's a coin wallet, you can put the coins anywhere, it's not gonna fall out because it zips up. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't get the Bernie because of the um, possibility of color transfer, but you just have to be very mindful of that because unlike this wallet, this wallet is a little bit more flexing and um, forgiving when you're wanting to get into these areas in the back. So that's something to also keep in mind when getting Vernie or Canvas. So I have the Zippy Coin wallet in Vernie, the Zippy Coin wallet in Monogram, the Alexandria in Damier Ebene, the Etoll in Monogram, the Insulate and Damier Ebene, the Agenda PM and Damier Ebene, and last but not least, the one, my current wallet, the Sarah wallet, and Dentel. So all these wallets serve a different function. I have two full-size wallets, three compact wallets, a planner, and a medium-sized wallet. So when I'm feeling I need a little bit more organization, I use these wallets. When I just need to grab and go, I'm going to use the compact wallets. But in all in all, the Alexandra wallet is going to be my medium. So I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed my video. If you have any questions or you want to know more about any of these wallets here, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you guys later. I have a lot of catching up to do on this channel. See you in another video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.